Hey learners, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I am your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we will study about lichens and mycorrhiza. These both are actually mutualistic symbiotic association of fungi. Mutualistic symbiotic means that mutually they are getting benefits. It means that fungi and the other partner, they both are going to get benefits. That is why it is a mutualistic symbiotic association. In both the relationship, one thing is common and this is fungi. First of all, lichens. Lichens are actually the association between the fungi and green algae or cyanobacterium or in some cases both are also associated with fungi. It means that fungi is going to make an association with green algae or cyanobacterium. The most visible part of the lichen is actually present in the hyphae. We know that fungi, they, it has hyphae and in the hyphae, this green algae or cyanobacteria or their cell, they are going to embed. Here you can see in this diagram that this part here, this is actually the fungal hyphae. While the fungal hyphae has entrapped the algae cells, so you can see these green part here, these are actually green algae. So in this way, the hyphae of fungi and green algae, they are making an association. Now why this association is beneficial or why we are calling it mutualistic symbiotic? In this association, fungus is going to protect the algal partner or they are going to protect green algae from the strong light as well as desiccation. Desiccation means evaporation of water and itself the fungi is going to get the food from the algae because we know that algae has photosynthetic ability it's going to prepare the food and that food is going to be shared with the fungi in this way they both are getting benefits from each other the lichens they can grow at harsh places such as bare rocks or even the trees here you can see this part this is actually lichen which is growing on a tree the lichens they may vary in color in shape in the appearance as well as in the growth form depending on that which fungi is making association with which algae or cyanobacterium overall the lichens they are bio indicators of the air pollution as the air pollution increases the number of lichens is going to decrease so in this way you can find out that particular area is polluted or not because lichens they are sensitive to the change in the environment especially the nitrogen so as the level of greenhouse gases increases in the air the lichens they are going to die the next symbiotic association is mycorrhiza the mycorrhiza is association between the fungi and the roots of vascular plants. The vascular plants, for example, the pea plants or the nodular plants. How this association is working? In this association, the fungal hyphae, they will increase the amount of soil contact and the total surface area for absorption by penetrating their hyphae into the soil. And in this way, they are going to help in the direct absorption of phosphorus, zinc, copper and other nutrients into the roots so in this way they are going to help the roots or the plants to get maximum nutrients because they can penetrate deep into the soil in this way they can absorb more nutrients then the plant is going to use that nutrients to prepare their food and the growth of the plant is going to improve on the other hand, the plants, they are going to supply organic carbon to the fungal hyphae and that organic carbon is going to help in their survival or is going to act as a food. The mycorrhiza have actually two types. The first is endomycorrhiza. The second one is ectomycorrhiza. In the endomycorrhiza, as the name indicates, endo, endo mean inside. So this mycorrhizal association is somewhat inside. What happens that in this association, the fungal hyphae, it's going to penetrate the outer cells of the plant roots. Then they are going to form the 
coils, swellings as well as the minute branches and also extend out into the soil. Here you can see this part here, this is actually the endomycorrhiza. You can see that the fungal cells or the fungal hyphae has penetrated the outer cell and then has entered into the internal part of the roots some of the part is in the soil while some part is inside the cells or inside the root the second one is ectomycorrhiza here the ecto mean external or outside in this association the fungal hyphae they are going to surround and extend between the cells but they are not going to penetrate the walls of the roots here you can see this is ectomycorrhiza and you can see that they have make a layer outside the roots but they have not penetrated deep inside the root as in case of endomycorrhiza so you can see that here they are just present outside they are going to form pines and furs so you can see that in this way this part here and here in this diagram you can see this whitish part here is actually the mycorrhizal association and this mycorrhizal association is going to help the improved growth of the plants so that was our lesson on lichens and mycorrhiza if you still have any question related to this topic you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video